Hey guys, do you find it really hard to find trouser patterns that actually fit your unique measurements? Apparently this is quite a common complaint and something that we wanted to, let's say, resolve. So we've spent the last two years working on a solution. We've created a series of trouser and jeans patterns, or basic blocks, that are automatically drafted using Pattern Lab software to fit your exact measurements. To showcase this new range of made to measure, let's say trouser blocks or basic blocks, we asked a group of women to help us test the fit and give us their honest and true feedback when it came to the finished products. So let's get started. Hey Teresa, it's lovely to have you in today. Thank you so much for coming and it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, okay, so just to explain a little bit about the project. So obviously we're kind of interviewing a whole range of women to kind of understand the issues they might have when it comes to buying commercial trousers and obviously any fit issues that they might have. And then we, obviously we can try and resolve this by drafting a pair that are accurately fitting to your measurements. But so just, yeah, a little bit about kind of the issues you might have. Well, usually my problem is that I have like wide hips and short legs. Mm -hmm. So if they fit on the, on the top, they usually wait too long. Okay. That's my main issue. And then also I'm not really a big fan of shopping. So every brand like uh, that you could buy at any store, they have different sizes. So it's, yeah. it's a long yeah, yeah. process to actually find the right size for me. Yeah. And it's like my body shape is different as if I had like, a, I don't know, short legs and wide hips. Okay. So the proportions are never really right. So okay. that's mainly the main problem. There. Fantastic. I mean, so as I said, like, um, you know, everyone is, in, is very, very different. Everyone has, even if, let's say, you get two people that are size 10 or 12 or whatever, mm. their, you know, the ratios of their body can be very, very different, which obviously means that trousers can be a little bit ill-fitting. So hopefully, uh, we're going to basically draft your pair of trousers using your exact perfect body measurements, and this should resolve a lot of the issues that you have when it comes to, let's say, fitting trousers. Um, so, first things first, what we'll do is we'll get you in some leggings and a top so we can accurately mm -hmm. take your measurements. And yeah, we'll begin. Right. Cool. Okay. Okay, so before we take your measurements, it's really important that you're wearing the right attire or let's say the right clothing in order to take your measurements. We need to take your accurate measurements. So if you're wearing jeans or let's say like a big woolen jumper, you know, when we measure you, we're not going to get the correct measurements. So leggings and like a light t-shirt or like fitted top is absolutely perfect. Okay, so we'll take about seven or eight measurements to then hopefully draft your trousers. So first of all, we take the waist, hip, and waist to hip measurements. These are three really important measurements that will control the fit of the trousers around Teresa's lower torso. Teresa mentioned that the waist on commercial trousers is often too large in relation to her hips. So taking these measurements is not only imperative to drafting the trousers, but it should give us a better fit on the waist regardless of the hip size. Next, we have the knee and ankle measurements. These simply tell us how wide to make the trousers for this particular style. We also need to take the waist to floor measurement, which we missed during this measurement session, but we remedy this later on with a separate session. Finally, we have the body rise measurement, which creates the crotch depth and crotch curvature. So yet another very key measurement. Okay, so now that we have your measurements, I'm gonna head on over to the Mac. I'm gonna basically fire up the Pattern Lab website. I'm gonna input your measurements into a profile and we're gonna start creating your trouser block, obviously using your unique, accurate measurements. And we should have a lovely finished sample that fits you accurately, if not perfectly. So this is the really sort of exciting part. We get to use the lab and sort of explore the software. Cool. So I've just opened up the Pattern Lab website, and as you can see, this is our homepage, which is great, looking fab once again. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the Profile tab instead, and I'm just gonna create a new profile for Teresa. I'm just gonna simply call it Teresa May 21, let's do test. Oops, test, and we're gonna do centimeters, click go. And here we have all the possible measurements that we can enter for uh, Teresa. However, I'm not going to be using um, all those measurements, so I'm just going to simply click on the Trouser tab, and that brings up the seven measurements that we need to actually draft these trousers. So I'm just going to start inputting her measurements. Okay, we're good to go. So let's just simply draft that block. I'm just going to click Draft Block. As you can see, the profile has already been selected up here in the top left-hand corner, and we already have our trouser block selected. I'm just going to simply, let me clear this, this is from the last selection. Here we go, let's choose where is it, Teresa Test, there we go. And let's click on the trouser block. And we're gonna click Next, and already it started to draft her trouser block. And we're gonna go for the relaxed fit, which is a predefined style. In other words, all the easies are created to create this lovely relaxed fit. 
And once again, if you come down to the bottom here, you can see custom ease. We have the eases that have been calculated for Teresa. So 0 0.6, 1 1.1 for the hip, knee is 17.5, ankle is 27, and body rise is zero. Uh, we can obviously change these and input different um, waist, hip, knee, etc. eases. It's completely up to you. But I'm just going to use this completely raw draft, just using this relaxed fit style. Also, if you click on the advanced tab, you'll notice you can do a whole lot more. So we have custom darts, we have custom arc measurements, custom crotch extensions, and front and sorry, front drop and back rise. And if you click on the read more, it'll obviously give you an image that shows you how these measurements actually affect the block and how you can actually change them to create different, let's say, um, yeah, different styles of trousers using these various different uh, advanced tab options. And we're gonna do a tutorial on that to show you how to play around with these styles. But for the time being, I'm just gonna use the a uh, predefined relaxed fit style. Let's just remove the advanced. I'm just going to click next. Okay, so the waist style, I'm going to go for the high waisted version. And I'm also going to go for the floor length, but once again, uh, you can actually change the custom, you can add your custom length in here. So for example, if uh, Teresa, for example, wore her heels uh, while we measured her, we could measure from the waist down to the finished length of the trouser and then input it here to get the correct length. But unfortunately, she wasn't wearing the heels when we measured her, so we're not sure about the length as yet. Let's click front. And here, obviously, with a high waist style, so obviously our low waist pocket options are not visible or not selectable. So we're gonna go for the high waist with slash pockets as opposed to no pockets. And as you can see, it's just gonna start building those panels in the preview on the right. Let's go to the back. Once again, I'm gonna patch pockets rather than no pockets and it just adds that patch in. Let's go to the waistband, and I'm gonna go for the standard, which is the external waistband with fly. However, you could always use an internal waistband, you could use no waistband, or even an external waistband without fly. If, for example, you wanted to put in an uh, invisible zip, for example. So let's just simply click on this one. And then here we have a waistband depth as well. So you can change this from anything between 2.5 and five centimeters, but we're gonna stick with four. And I'm gonna click purchase. So next you have the option to purchase this either as a multi-page uh, A4, A3, A2, A1, A0 or US letter PDF pattern. So full size pattern has been broken up into various different pages, uh, which you can then print from your home printer and then piece together. <coughs> we also have the e-pattern, which creates a fully editable version of this pattern. So if you use Adobe Illustrator, or if you follow any of our online pattern cutting tutorials or digital pattern cutting tutorials, then you can obviously purchase this as an editable block, and you can then start to play with it and experiment with it, much in the same way you'd pattern cut any normal pair of trousers, but in Adobe Illustrator. But because we're going to just simply print this out and make it, we're going to go for the... Uh, save and download PDF. Also, I'm an administrative, uh, I am an admin user, so I don't actually get the payment gateway, which then obviously, uh, obviously you guys will because uh, these are obviously pur purchasable items. So if I simply click on this, you would normally see the purchase window or the payment window come up. However, it's just gonna go straight to my library. So once you've made your payment, this is what you will see. And as you can see here, you can edit your measurements. So for example, if you made a mistake with the measurements, for example, you could always then just go in and then change those measurements as you wish. Just click done. We also have the different A4, A3, A2, A1, etc. PDF examples. So we have A4 at the moment. You have A3, A2, A1, and also A0. And we also have US letter as well. I'm gonna stick with A4. And you can also see here we have seam allowance. So if you want to change the seam allowance, at the moment we have one cm apart from the side seam, which has two cm. So I'm going to go for one. But you can also change this to inches, I believe. Give it a sec, it's just rethinking. Yep, you can also change this to inches as well, if or even have none if you so wish. So I'm just going to simply, okay, so at the moment it's looking, I think we can probably do better when it comes to the PDF layouts. So these are all the pages and we want to save as much paper as possible. So I'm just gonna literally take a second now just to make sure that all of these are in the perfect or most uh, economical, let's say, position. This might take a little bit of time, but there's one thing to note is that if I hold down the shift key and click, I can click and rotate this trouser panel. And let's just, so we can squeeze it in even more. Great stuff. So I'm just gonna speed this up and then we should be ready to print our pattern. Okay, so we're probably not gonna get any better than that. I could spend a bit of time doing this, but for now, that's absolutely perfect. And okay, so what we do is I'm just gonna click Save Layout as well. So if I save this layout, it means it's gonna be forever saved to the A4 layout. So if I click on A3, 
If we click on A4, it's going to go back to what we saved, which is really handy. So next, I'm just going to simply go to download PDF A4. And here is Teresa's full-scale pattern that's been broken up into individual A4 pages. We have a scale on there, and we also have the crop markings and also the cut lines, which is really handy. So we can now print this all out and start piecing together this pattern. Here are our lay plans. Uh, we can just simply save this to our desktop. So I'm going to go right-click, Save As. Let's find the desktop, and we can go Teresa Trouser Block. Desktop, Save. And it's going to save as a PDF. We can then quit the lab. Here is our block. Let's just double click and open this. And as you can see, we have all the various pages, which is great. I'm just going to simply Command P to print. And then here, very importantly, I'm going to make the scale 100%. It can't be higher or lower than 100%, and it can't be fit to page. It must always be 100%, otherwise your pattern will not be the correct size. I'm going to click black and white just to save on a bit of uh, printer ink here. I'm just going to simply click print. And so once we printed this, I'm going to start piecing it together and I'm going to start, uh, let's say, laying it on fabric and start creating the sample for Teresa to try. Here are our finished pair of trousers, um, uh, that lovely crepe fabric which was a bit of a nightmare to work with, doesn't fold or press very well, but um, yeah I'm reasonably happy with the quality of the construction, it took about four hours to make, so the next thing that we need to do is basically get our model in for a fitting just to check the actual trousers or the project works and obviously the trousers fit, um, but in the meantime I'm going to stick them in the trouser press just to make sure we've got some really crisp edges in preparation for tomorrow, but yeah let's get started. Okay, so Teresa, obviously we have sampled up your made to measure trousers, which we obviously created in Pattern Lab. Once again, so this is a raw draft from Pattern Lab. We've not made any alterations outside of uh, Pattern Lab, so no alterations to the pattern at all. So as a first draft, I'm generally quite pleased, but how do you feel overall about the fit? Well, actually the fit perfectly on my hip, that's one of my main issues. Okay. Uh, the other one is usually the length. I mean, they're good, maybe yeah. not perfect, but they're yeah. really, really good. Okay, you know what, I'm really glad you actually brought this up because essentially what we'd do is, so during your measurement session, um, we would get you and basically put you in the shoes you were going to wear, and then what we'd do is we'd take the tape measure and we'd measure from your waist point down to where you wanted the trousers to end. We'd then put that into the lab system and it would draft it to the perfect length anyway. So your heels are maybe slightly shorter than the majority of the people we've worked with, and that's why it's like... No, no, but like everyone has different heels, which is why we didn't measure it, so therefore they're a little bit longer. But because they're bespoke, we can just simply raise them and it's all good. But overall, yeah, I think it's, it's not bad. I think we did really that reasonably well. The back? Oh, yeah, and the back. <laughs> no, no, this is good. It's fine. Okay, yeah, and the back. Okay, so, so as I said, in some of the other jeans or the other trousers that we've seen, uh, we had a little bit of rippling over here, which meant we had to reduce the back rise. But to be fair, like it's a pretty decent, uh, yeah, it fits really well over the bum and stuff, so I'm quite happy. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, Teresa, thank you so much for coming in. It's been an absolute pleasure to work with you and I'm really glad that we can kind of create something as a first point is a really good sort of like starting point for the trousers. So thank you so much, it's been a real pleasure. Uh, but give me one, so you've got a photo shoot literally in like one minute, so give me a little bit of time to chat to these guys, but 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so not a bad first draft after all. As I mentioned, we've got a photo shoot coming up, so if you want to keep watching, uh, if you'd like to see the finished result of all of our hard work, then obviously keep watching. In the meantime, I just want to mention this product is now live on the PatternLab.London website, which means you can now actually start creating your very own tailor-made or custom-fitting trousers very, very simply. Simply head on over to the website, uh, create a profile, add your measurements, and start drafting your trouser blocks. It's that simple. Also, if you've learned something new or found inspiration from this video or from this project, then please send us a comment in the comment section below. We love hearing your feedback, your inspiration, your ideas. It really does sort of like bring life to our work. Um, in the meantime, let's get started. Let's check out the photo shoot and see where we are. Okay, once again, a huge, huge thank you to Teresa. Uh, it was such a fantastic day and we really enjoyed working with her. So as I mentioned before, there are six other women who took part in this project. So if you want to get access to all of those videos, then please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also turn on your notifications. We have got tons more content coming your way, which we would hate for you to miss out on. Also, check out our Instagram page. We've got loads of backstage videos and also photos from the photo shoot that we're not releasing anywhere else. Finally, thank you so much for watching. It is always a pleasure creating these videos and I really hope you enjoyed it. And once again, it's great to hear your comments and your feedback, so make sure you comment below. Finally, take care guys and thank you so, so much. It's been a real pleasure.